We just speak about the facilities, you're just telling you how high the shoots should be so that the goat don't jump it and everything. Right. <laughs> Housing, well ventilated. We speak about that already because we said if it's not well ventilated and it's wet and everything, can't get pneumonia, all these parasites and everything will breed up. This is just showing a picture of the elevated um, housing that we have. Right, so. And people have different designs that they use. Some have it more elaborate, some have it as a simple design. No, it's one story, it's just that it's a very high story. You can practically walk under it. <laughs> Up there. Right, and just thinking about fencing, you have to know the different type of fencing that you'll use. Because like we said, the goats is not so much even the sheep, you know, but the goats will jump it and some people can use electric fencing just to train your animals where you want them to go or not go. Especially if you're doing rotation systems, so they can use electrical fencing if you don't want to put a permanent fencing. You just set that up and you can keep them in that environment. They can move the fencing again because the fencing is mostly movable. Right?